Hoes and welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie and I know you saw the title of today's video. It looks like there are connections between Elon Musk, Amber Heard, Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell and more and more is coming out. I've been calling this in my videos because you guys know with my intro a lot of times I say we're force fed this crap about Aunt Amber Heard and Johnny Depp and we don't hear anything about Jeff and Ghislaine and a plane. I go into all of that, right? Well, it looks like there may be more ties than what we think. What is happening? What is going on? Let me give you guys a little bit of overview in case you have missed some details or to give you a little refresher. If you've been following my channel, and I'll have links in the cards to these videos, so make sure and keep up to date. We have an eyewitness account. Somebody who dated both Amber and Elon was in like a throuple with them named Gia. Now, this all comes from a substack from a woman named Jessica Krause. She apparently talked to Gia and Gia gave her account of what it was like to be with Elon Musk and Amber Heard as she was with both of them. And she talked about parties, kettle parties with pharmaceuticals and people who are not of age that should be there partaking in such activities. Please infer. And with that, we also had information come out that Amber in many ways acted as a madam, similar to Ghislaine Maxwell, and has been getting girls and securing different types of people and minors for people in power. Now, I've been saying for a while, I wonder what kind of connections are between Ghislaine and Jeffrey and Elon and Amber, and apparently things are starting to come out and things are starting to be out of the woodwork. One thing is, and I have a video on this, go check it out, I'll have the details. Elon is roundabout confirming that a lot of this stuff has happened. We know that Elon Musk is most likely footing a lot of bills for Amber. We, we have all been saying she probably has blackmail on him and these parties and his involvement would probably be why. The other thing is we all think that her daughter, if that's even real, a lot of people think it's a rent-a-baby situation. Who knows? I'm not saying that's the case. But a lot of people are saying that her daughter specifically, if is true and alive, is one of Elon Musk's children. As we know, she went to court to fight him for embryos. So a lot of weird stuff going on, but pictures are starting to surface of Elon and Jeffrey Epstein. So what does this mean? I'm gonna dive into it in just a second, but before I do to those of you that are new, hi, how are you? My name is Katie and on this channel, I cover all the trending topics and we laugh at how stupid a lot of it is and we just get as much information as we can. So if you like stuff this, make sure and subscribe and click the notification bell, would love to have you around. So. Let's dive in and see what's going on. And hopefully my mic stays with me. It sure did. If I push it this way, it seems not to. But if I drag it slowly, it seems okay. And I'm getting my computer soon, so hopefully this won't matter. My video is coming up. Will you guys be sad not to hear about my battery stat? Not battery, my microphone status. Okay, here we go. This is from Snopes, and it says, Is the photo Elon Musk and Ghislaine Maxwell, is this photo real? And it says, A frequently shared picture purportedly shows Tesla CEO Elon Musk posing next to convicted um, intimacy, not nice person, enslaver Ghislaine Maxwell at a party. And here we go. It says, it says, the context. The photo of Musk and Maxwell was captured by Wire Image photographer Kevin Mazur at the Vanity Fair Oscar party in March 2nd, 2014. It's the only picture of the pair. There's no photogenic evidence that suggests they conversed or greeted each other. Musk later responded to a question about the picture. He said he didn't know Maxwell and that she photobombed him. Now the fact checking, it says, a genuine photograph of Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Jeffrey Epstein associate Glenn Maxwell, now a convicted, not nice person, a convicted enslaver of intimacy, is frequently shared on social media. It was reposted April 25th, 2022, amid news that Musk was buying Twitter. For example, the picture of Musk and Maxwell was shared with the caption, post this image while you still can, as if he would plan on blocking the photograph once he had the power to do so. And then you can see the image here. And it says, the picture of Musk and Maxwell shows them posing for the camera at the Vanity Fair Oscar party on March 2nd, 2014. Five years later, Epstein was arrested on charges of intimacy trafficking and, endanger and engaging in intimacy acts with minors. He previously agreed to all secret plea deals in 2008 that the Associated Press reported and did a federal investigation that could have landed him in prison for life. August 10th, 2019, Epstein was found not alive in his jail cell. An autopsy ruled it was a um, ending by, by uh, your neck. His ending set off a wave of new conspiracy theories. And as for Maxwell, December 2021, CNN reported that she was found guilty on five federal charges, including the 
intimacy, enslaving of a minor, transporting a minor with the intent to engage in criminal intimacy activity, and three related counts of blank theories. According to the Getty Image website, Wire Image photographer Kevin Mazur captured at least 565 images at that party, including one of Musk and Maxwell. Another Wire Image photographer, Jeff Vespa, also had 585 pictures from the party that are available for licensing. Out of the 1,150 total photographs from the event, only that one picture shows the pair. No other evidence suggests that they have conversed or greeted each other at other functions. Okay, and it says, Mazur also captured the pictures of Maxwell, speaking with someone referred to as a guest. Meanwhile, only one other, photo or one other photograph showed Musk at the party. He was photographed with his wife at the time, Tallulah Riley, as well as actor Sasha Baron Cohen. In 2020, Musk was asked about the photograph of him and Maxwell, and in response, he tweeted, don't know Ghislaine at all. She photobombed me once at a Vanity Fair party several years ago. Real question is why Vanity Fair invited her in the first place. Good question. For the unaware, photobombing is the act. Well, that's when somebody comes in and just is in the picture with you and you don't know. And so then it says a spokesperson for Musk also said the same to the New York Times. Ghislaine simply inserted herself behind him in a photo he was posing for without his knowledge. Musk again tweeted his question about the picture asking why Maxwell had been invited to the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Read the question, real question, and he's right. It says, we reached out to Vanity Fair and asked why Maxwell was at the party. The story will be updated if we see a response. And now it says, the picture of Musk and Maxwell was once used to create a fake cover for Time's Person of the Year. USA Today reported on the misleading uses of the photograph in December 2021, and in reality, it was only Musk who received the honor that year. Additionally, the Australia website news.com.au published details of the past purported interactions between Musk and Epstein before his ending, and in sum, Musk and Maxwell were photographed together at a party after the Academy Awards in 2014. It was the only picture of the pair for the party. It didn't show them conversing or greeting each other. Furthermore, Musk said she photobombed him. So once again, we're getting the same stuff. However, we actually have more information that says that Musk and Epstein did more than what we think. Here this is, this is from news.com.au. That's that same one, it says, he was saying Ghislaine simply inserted herself behind him in a photo he was posing for without his knowledge. So Musk was saying, as we know, I don't have any involvement in this whatsoever. However, in 2018, Epstein told a New York Times reporter he'd been contacted by a member of Mr. Musk's team for advice while Mr. Musk was under investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Interesting. Both Tesla and Mr. Musk vehemently denied Epstein's claims and says it was incorrect to say that Epstein ever advised Elon or anything. Epstein and Mr. Musk have also attended dinners together in the past, including one in 2011, according to a report by BuzzFeed News. Mr. Musk once went to his house in Manhattan, according to Miss Riley, who also attended. The photo of Mr. Musk and Maxwell was taken at the Oscars after party 2014, organized by Vanity Fair, as we know. Mr. Musk was alongside his second and then third wife, Tallulah Riley, a couple of years before the pair divorced for the second potential final time. Mr. Musk also denied rumors that Epstein had been given a private tour of SpaceX several years after his 2008 conviction for procuring underage girls for intimacy selling. And it says, to the best of our knowledge, he never toured SpaceX. <clears throat> Don't know where that comes from. And then it says, Miss Riley later tweeted to say she wanted to respond publicly with Elon's permission, given the truly horrific nature of the implications being drawn from the photo. One implication she said she had seen was that Ghislaine Maxwell had procured her some kind of child bride for Elon, which she denied. I don't know Maxwell, she said. <clears throat> Elon and I met when I was 22 and he was on a business trip to London. It was a chance meeting engineered by no one. She said that to her knowledge, she'd never met Maxwell, but conceded she might've been briefly introduced to her at some point in the 2014 party. <clears throat> she said it was unreasonable for anyone to remember all the people they've met, particularly with such high profile uh, public figures. And I can agree with that. I can understand that. She says, Elon and I met thousands of people over the course of our relationship. There will be countless photos of Elon with people he doesn't know or happen to be staying next to at a party, Miss Riley said. She said a visit she and Mr. Musk paid to Epstein's Manhattan mansion were facilitated by a man taking them around the city and introducing them to various people. And she couldn't remember in what year it occurred. Miss Riley and Mr. Musk met in 2008, the same year Epstein was convicted. And it's likely he visited the Manhattan house and didn't, that didn't happen until after he had completed his sentence. 
Epstein was sentenced to 13 months in jail, but couldn't spend much of that sentence actually in the private wing of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office that served as his uh, prison. He was reportedly allowed to come and go virtually as he pleased on work release, unlike most intimacy offenders in Florida who are housed in state prisons and not allowed on work releases. He was later arrested and he was charged again, this time with a raft of serious intimacy offenses, but da, uh, but, I want to say this right, he, and things ended before trial. His ending has been ruled him doing it. Maxwell has recently been charged with six counts related to the offending of the now, dis, uh, the now not here Epstein, including accusations she procured and groomed young women who were later um, not niced by him. Maxwell has previously denied having anything to do with Epstein's offending, but has now been accused of lying to investigators about the involvement. And I also want to read Tallulah's statement on this so we can see exactly what she has to say. And in this statement, it says, I usually don't comment on such things, but given the truly horrific nature of what is being applied up and down my timeline today, I wanted to respond publicly with Elon's permission. However, I only speak for myself. And it says, to my knowledge, I've never met Ghislaine Maxwell. A photo of Elon and Maxwell is doing the rounds taken at a party where I was also present. It is possible I was briefly introduced to her, but not in any way that I can remember. Elon and I met thousands of people over the course of our relationship. There will be countless photos of Elon with people he doesn't know and happen to stand next to at a party. Elon and I went to Epstein's house in New York once as part of an itinerary of appointments. I can't even date it to a year. We used to travel constantly for work and the situation was always pretty similar in any country or city. Back-to-back -back meetings, a car with CPO drivers and other, and often a contact minder guide. This trip was no different. There was a man taking us around the city and introducing us to various people. The other thing I've seen implied is that Maxwell procured me as some type of child bride for Elon. Again, I don't know Maxwell. Elon and I met when I was 22 and he was on a business trip to London. It was a chance meeting engineered by no one. I'm distressed by something so truly awful being thrown around this court of Twitter. I hope that every victim of Epstein's finds justice and peace and that any person involved in harming underage girls is punished to the fullest extent of the law. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, first of all, I have more digging to do because what we had heard from Elon is I've never met Epstein, I have no involvement, but apparently he's been at at least dinner parties with him. Now, I will say this, I've been to, we've all been to parties, right? But with stuff like this, when you have these high profile parties, you have lots of photographers and lots of pictures, red carpet events, you're gonna have people who just come in the picture, right? You're gonna have all different types of things like that. So I can totally understand where they're coming from. And I do, I've seen this before as well. You'll see somebody who has, who's got a picture of somebody else, you know, somebody's in their photo and suddenly the internet's like, look, these two are connected. It doesn't always mean that. Remember guys, we are in this really weird age of technology where you can take a picture at any time, anywhere. It doesn't necessarily mean one thing or the other. But with that being said, when Elon says, I've had no involvement, I don't know this guy. Well, you've had dinner parties with him. Now we could argue, Elon Musk has probably been to hundreds of dinner parties with thousands, hundreds or thousands of people. He may have had dinners and not remembered. I can tell you as I get older, now it's a little bit different with me because I have chronic illness issues. We, as far as we're aware, Elon doesn't. Now he's on the spectrum, which I maybe for some people could mess with your memory, but my point is, I know for me personally, with my memory issues, there are so many people, like I'm never gonna remember your name. I will never remember your name. I'm gonna call you Sugar, Sweetheart, or Han, or Bunny, or Doll. Like, and that's part, part of it is Midwestern colloquialisms, right? And just that type of charm that comes from the way we socialize here. And then part of it as well is that I just can't remember your name. And I'm, as time goes on, my memory, it, it gets better as my illness gets better, but as I age, it gets a little bit worse too, if that makes sense. So there's just a lot I don't remember. And considering Musk is surrounded, like I said, by so many people, I can actually understand and give a pass here. But there seems to be way more involvement, not just with Epstein, but him going to these parties because more information is coming out about him going to cuddle parties and what that means and even possible ties with Epstein. So make sure if you like videos like this, subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm gonna keep you up to date on all of this as more information breaks and comes out and we're gonna see exactly where this goes. This story just gets wilder and wilder. Okay guys, I think that's it for me here today. Take care and lots of love, lots of blessings. Till the next video as always, I'm giving everybody hugs, kisses, stay safe, and as always, your girl, we'll see you soon. Bye guys.